talking with uh, Tony Lombardo the other day about the New Orleans kind of banjo players that came out of New Orleans. They were a breed different than, than others. They had some kind of, each of them had a charm about them. Father Al had his little toys that he gave away, but he could play pretty good. He was a very simple-minded person. And then there was uh, George Gaynor, who, uh, real George, who had his single string and stuff down, but he, he did a lot of blues and entertaining, blues singing and whatever and all that too. And uh, then you get around to uh, Manny Sales, who came to Chicago. But just after I'd gone into Chicago and had a band, got a band of Bourbon Street, Manny came in and joined the uh, um, Bill Reinhardt group over at Jazz Limit. Bill Reinhardt was the guy that owned it, he played the clarinet. Had this uh, Chinese wife who was a hell, hell ranger. <laughs> but anyway, she kept Jack the Bear out for a while. That's another story I'll tell you sometime. But anyway, um, <coughs> He had uh, the likes of uh, Myth Mole in there, and he, that, that's Bill Reinhardt. And he had in uh, Cindy Bichet, and he had in just uh, Cy St. Clair, and you name him, he had him in there. And um, and, he, and when I first went in, they, there, there was two guys that played metal dobro guitars. Um, and they were the McKendrick brothers. The, uh, uh, Mike McKendrick. Both of them's names seemed to be Mike, and one was Little Mike, and then there was Big Mike McKendrick. But they both played, I never saw them playing any banjos, but they used those tenor tuned, uh, I have one in the closet in there, uh, made by National, a metal body written there. Nice instruments. Anyway, uh, Mike was playing there. I think it was Little Mike at that time was playing there with Reinhardt. And um, and then he got an infection in his toe, or clipping his toenails improperly. And they took off his toe, took off his foot, took off his ankle, way up to his knee, and finally he passed away. And then they brought in from New Orleans a Manny Sales, a manual sales. And uh, so Manny was there for a while. Manny was, uh, uh, he played both plectrum and tenor, and he, uh, he, he was a chordal kind of player. Uh, they, like I said, they had their charm and their own, in their own ways, whatever and all that. So Manny was there for that. Now this tune I'm going to do right here, right now, is a tune that used to be done. There was a guy that, that would play the banjo down there, Narvin Kimball. Narvin was married to a wonderful, wonderful piano player, his wife, Jeanette. But anyway, um, uh, uh, Marvin played this tune, Memories, all the time. But he, he had been working for years for the uh, uh, post office, as a lot of the older colored black musicians used to do around Chicago and everywhere. Uh, uh, when I went in there, uh, George Mitchell had been, play, had been working at the, there, and most of the others were around too, were, were working at, at the post office. But anyway, uh, for years he worked the post office, and then when most of the other guys died off, he was a little younger. I'm talking about Narvin Kimball now. And Narvin took over with the uh, Preservation Hall and that stuff. And this would be his featured number. <laughs> Thank you. 
Spinarum. <laughs> Spinarum, yeah.